Welcome to the Easy Things Report System training video. This tutorial is intended for all users at an agency that can access Easy Links reports. If you're needing access to reports, please reach out to your agency admin. Easy Links offers powerful reports to help users analyze their agency's production. Today you'll learn about reporting basics. There's a lot to cover, so let's dive in. We'll begin with the basics of reporting in EasyLinks. This segment shows you the basic functions of EasyLinks reports and explains the best method for choosing which report to run. To get started, hover over the Reports icon. The categories available depend on which products your agency has purchased. Each category represents where EasyLinks pulls the data for the report. For example, applicant reports contain very little info about policies, whereas policy management reports will provide a more in-depth look into an applicant's policies. Within each report category, three types of report options are available – Summary, Detail, and Master Reports. When deciding what type of report to run, start with Summary. If that doesn't provide the desired results, proceed to Detail, then Master Report. Summary reports are easiest to run and provide simple charts and graphs with quick totals for busy users. If you need more details about the totals contained within a summary report, try the corresponding detail report. Detail reports are still user-friendly while offering a greater range of data. Furthermore, master reports are intended for users with a higher level of familiarity with how to group and aggregate data within Excel spreadsheets or other similar programs. Every report has icons on the top toolbar that serve specific purposes. We'll use the Policy Expiration Report under Book of Business to review these icons from left to right. The first icon on the top left is used to go back to the first page of the report. The second icon, a left arrow, is used to go back to the previous page in the report. Next to this, you'll notice a white box with a number inside of it. This is the page number you're on within the report. Just to the right, you'll see the total number of pages displayed. As you would expect, the arrow icon to the right of the page display can be used to navigate to the next page. To the immediate right is the icon which takes you to the last page of the report. Much like internet browsers, the subsequent icon is to refresh the report. Please note that this is not the same as clicking View Report. The Refresh icon merely refreshes what was originally on the page, while the View Report button will gather and generate new data should you change the filters. A drop-down menu is located to the right of the Refresh button, which is the zoom level for the report. We recommend leaving this at 100% for printing purposes, but it may be easier to read on screen with a higher percentage. The next icon is a downward arrow with a line underneath it. This icon will allow you the option to download the report in various formats, including Excel, PDF, and CSV. To the right is a printer icon, which allows you to print your report. Lastly, the disk icon on the far right allows you to save the report to EasyLinks for easy access. The report will appear in Saved Reports under the Reports icon. This is useful for agencies who run daily, monthly, or annual reports. When you choose to save a report, a window will appear and prompt you to enter certain details. While the report name is the only mandatory field, it's helpful to add a brief description. You also have the ability to select a date range, which will automatically populate the date range that was saved on each subsequent run. For example, if your agency runs monthly reports, you can select the date range titled Last Month or Month to Date to save the report for ongoing future use. Remember to click Save once you've entered the desired information. Now, let's go over some common filter and column selections. The branch filter lists any branch offices set up under an agency's EasyLinks account that you have access to view. Similarly, the agent filter lists all EasyLinks users on an agency's EasyLinks account. The agent filter refreshes after the branch filter is modified, so select your branch or branches first, then select your agent or agents. Each report defaults to display a certain set of columns. 
The filters and columns typically depend on which report category and type you select, but can be edited to suit your agency's needs. Look for the Manage Columns dropdown to expand the selection and check or uncheck your desired columns. Alternatively, use the Select All or Unselect All to check and uncheck all columns. The same can be done for most fields and reports, which allow you to seamlessly interchange data to fit your requirements. Also, you can sort results by column. To do this, click on the up or down arrow next to the column header to sort by ascending or descending. Please note that the sort feature works the same for both alphabetical and numerical columns, but you can only sort one column at a given time. If you change a filter or field within the report, you must click the View Report button on the top right for the system to generate updated data based on the criteria you selected. For example, if you decide to change the date range or assigned agent, you'll need to regenerate the report by clicking View Report. This concludes our tutorial about the basics of reporting in EasyLinks. You should now be familiar with the three report types, the report icons, and the columns and filters within reports. To learn more about the three report types, see the video regarding summary, detail, and master reports. Thanks for watching!